Hey, welcome to Star Wars Force Time. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And thanks for bearing with me over the last couple of weeks. I've had a lot of ideas and researching for upcoming videos, but I just found it very challenging to follow through with being creative for the month of August. Your continued support really means a lot to me. So let's get started. Quick disclaimer, I know I should be referring to this lovely creature you see on the screen as the child, but he'll always be Baby Yoda in my heart, so forgive me for that. As we move into the second season of The Mandalorian, there's a lot of questions that need to be answered and some connections that have been made that I do not believe to be simply coincidences, but instead scripted synchronicities, connections to the Star Wars saga that are being alluded to for a very specific reason or reasons. One of those mysteries that need to be answered is linked to the year 41 BBY. Okay, BBY, that's the Battle of Yavin, the destruction of the Death Star that we saw by Luke Skywalker in Episode 4 of A New Hope. We refer to dates in Star Wars, as most of you know, as BBY or ABY, before the Battle of Yavin and after the Battle of Yavin. 41 years before the Battle of Yavin is significant because we know that is the year Baby Yoda was born. That was firmly established that Baby Yoda was 50 years old in The Mandalorian. The Mandalorian takes place 9 ABY, 9 years after the Battle of Yavin, which puts Baby Yoda's birth year as 41 BBY. 41 BBY also happens to be the same birth year as Anakin Skywalker. Okay, right, both Baby Yoda and Anakin Skywalker, who are among the most gifted of Force users in the history of the galaxy far, far away, both just so happen to be born on the same year. No, not a coincidence. And who's the mystery character that I alluded to on the title card of this video, also connected to the birth year of 41 BBY? Well, my speculation is the character being none other than our dark saber wielding Moff Gideon. We know very little about Moff Gideon except that he was an officer in the Imperial Security Bureau and remains a part of the remnants of the Imperial forces after the demise of the Empire. We know somehow he's connected to Baby Yoda as well as to other remnants of the Imperial forces, namely the Client and Dr. Pershing, as he's also connected to the planet Kamino and the Clone Lab by way of the markings on his uniform. That's for another video. The actor who plays Moff Gideon is actually Giancarlo Esposito, who in real life is 62 years old and has a lot of white and gray shades in his natural hair coloring. But we didn't see that in episode 7 and 8 of The Mandalorian. His hair was a bit darker, so they de-aged his appearance a bit. I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility that he's portraying Moff Gideon as a 50-year-old man. And if you're questioning my suspicion that Moff Gideon could be connected to the birth year of 41 BBY, just listen to what he says to Din Djarin when he's referring to the surrender of Baby Yoda. You have something I want. You may think you have some idea of what you are in possession of, but you do not. It means more to me than you will ever know. That's a loaded statement, right? Makes you wonder. Leading up to the release of season two of The Mandalorian, I'm gonna be digging deep into these characters and more mysterious Star Wars saga connections in The Mandalorian. Until then, may the Force be with you, always.